Size Journal, another episode, I think, I say an episode, <laughs> not really episodes, they're just me talking to a camera. Um, end of a day this one, last couple of ones I've done while making coffee at the beginning of a day, and more thoughts around being a parent and working and being an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, I don't know what else you call that, businessman? I don't feel like I'm a businessman. It's been something that I've pondered for ages, just how anybody, I suppose, manages with kids, like it's really difficult. And then I've separated from my little girl's mum, so I have a on my own effectively. I've got a girlfriend and she's got her kids and all that sort of stuff, but it's like a lot of the time I'm on my own with, with Edith as we have her. And like how you manage that, actually recently, the summer was the first school holidays when she's been at school, because she's always been a nursery before. So it was the first time that I had to entertain her through the days on my days and I have her probably 50% of the time, although my mum would disagree, but I'd have her a lot of the time and then I try to have her when I have her, if that makes sense, as opposed to send her off to grandparents or clubs. I haven't got loads of help outside of my, sort of me, really. So it's always a bit of a challenge to balance everything. And I go in a cycle of guilt and work with, with it all. So I can't completely take all the time off because just nothing to get done and work won't get done so that'd be really difficult and I suppose I imagine there's loads of people in this boat but also then I try and do work and then obviously as all children do they want your attention the moment that you open your laptop or put pen to paper and that cycle is really challenging like even today I've picked up from school and she's over there colouring in and I have a work call to do at half four at the time's relevant for when you watch this but I have a work call to do in 20 minutes and then we're gonna go for a hot chocolate and what have you but Getting that balance right is really difficult and I could probably work until about nine o'clock tonight if there's enough work to do. Um, but I need to find a way of being able to put down the, the laptop and stop work without feeling too guilty. And then you sort of have people texting and messaging saying, well, what's the deal with this deal and what's the deal with that? And it's then I say, well, I've got kids and it's I feel like everyone's situation is so different. Some people have incredible support from the spouses or partners. Some people don't have kids. I think if you don't have kids, it is impossible impossible to understand what it's like to have them if that, that and, and that isn't a criticism by anybody that hasn't got them like God, if you are not fully committed to having kids in your life don't have them i really believe that i don't feel like you should ever have them because society says or you should ever have them because that is the thing to do like they are the single biggest challenge as they grow up the single greatest thing as well by the way like i i i, I love Edith pieces and I, I wouldn't change it for the world but it is a challenge to be able to do it all. Like work is full on at the moment. We are building two businesses with the the sourcing and the training side of stuff. And getting that balance right without feeling guilty is really difficult. As a male, it's I don't feel like the responsibility is always quite on you like it is as a mother, or you don't have the same guilt. I'll be really honest with that. But I still have a huge responsibility and feel responsible to it. I've I've seen Lots of families grow up where the, the man goes out and works and they don't have the same tie and mothering nature or mothering nurture as it is, I think, is it nurture? So, and, I, I, and I, I sort of question it all in it and I try and get that balance. I don't have probably the same level of planning of doing things with her like, like I should. And I do feel guilty about it all. And then I never, like I say, never quite know how to get the balance between doing the work and spending time with her. And then there's just simply not enough hours in the day, right, either. So uh, this weekend, I've got Edith all weekend. We'll pick her up on Friday, drop her back to school on Monday, love her to pieces, it'll be great. But I will need to do some work in the, in, in chunks at times. And the frustration, I, I remember parts of the summer, it was just this, like, you feel like you can see things coming on your phone, emails, messages, phone calls. Like, I can't handle those. I've never really got an out of office on. I have lost deals because I've not even dated investors enough. And that's because I'm busy with life. Some of that's my fault. Some of it is just circumstantial. And you're like, how do you put that across? Like, Because I, I feel like everybody's got their own circumstance. So even if you've got kids, they might not have the same responsibility and expect you to deal with it all. And I suppose no one cares about your problems, do they? That is, that's one thing I'd say always. No one cares about your problems. Truly, I, I really believe that people say, oh no, but people do, people do. Then, yeah, <laughs> everyone's got their own, right? I suppose this journal is, there's never an answer, is there? Like, I was like, when you got problems, I always like to have solutions, I think. Like, that's always been a bit of a thing of mine. I've always like, if you've got a problem, let's try and work out a solution. There is no solution to this other than trying to find some balance in it. There are days where my balance, I want to work and I'm feeling flow and I feel like I've got lots to do and I'm lots of doing good stuff. And then three o'clock comes when it's school pickup time, I've got no choice, I can't. Can't leave it there. Um, uh, one thing I say, the flip side of it all is, 
I can pick her up today at three. We can spend time together, do a bit of work now while she's coloring in. We can go, she'll go to bed at seven and then I've got a few hours to do work this evening. So there's always that balance and choice, which is better than for me personally than being at work and not being able to pick her up. So there is a real sense of trying to get it right and not knowing how to, I suppose. So yeah, a bit of a, a rambly journal, I suppose, as they all will be. I suppose if anybody can resonate with it, put a little message in the comments. I suppose it's anything with these journals. If anyone's watched this far, whatever we are, five or six minutes in and haven't fallen asleep and do like it, then maybe do put a comment in. I feel like I feel there's like so many little bits in my life going on that you feel like so unique to you, but they're probably not. And everyone's got their own bits, whether they're in relationships, split up in relationships, got kids, not got kids. There is always like a unique point in your life where you're trying to get it all right and trying to get all the balance. So, um, that is, that is me in a nutshell, right? That is absolutely me. So, parenting, soul parenting, I suppose, is, is or individual parenting, whilst trying to run a business, not easy.